Hi guys, and welcome back to Love English. Oh, I have a special guest on today's show. This is Maya. Maya, look at the camera. You're being very patient. Look, say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. Maya is here because she can demonstrate very quickly the grammar point that I am teaching you today. So and such. She is such a naughty cat. Sometimes such a cute cat. Or. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? So cute, but she's also very impatient. So say bye bye. I'm going to start the lesson again without her. <laughs> Now, if you haven't already, do make sure you click that subscribe button. It's just here, here. And also, don't forget to click the notification icon, that little bell down below. Once it looks like this, it means you will be the first to be informed when our new lessons are uploaded. That means you're the first to comment, get replies, and really be a part of the Love English community. Now, before I get started, I promised some of you that I would be saying thank you in your language. Thank you for being part of the Love English community, for subscribing, for all your amazing comments on our videos, and for generally supporting us. So, obrigado, mamnun, shokran, danyavad. Thank you for being part of the Love English community. Today, I'm going to be looking at two confusing words: so and such. Now, these words might seem really simple, but actually, it's something that you guys often get confused by. This is going to be the first in a series of lessons that I explain to you how to use some of these confusing words that we have in the English language. So today, so and such. Earlier on, I introduced you to Maya, my little Siberian kitten, little monkey, really, and I said she is such a cute kitten, or she's so cute. So look at those two sentences there. We've got more examples. Sabra is so kind. Sabra is such a kind friend. The weather is so hot today. It's such a hot day. Now, so and such here are being used to add emphasis to make something sound stronger. So, my kitten is not just cute, but she's so cute, or she's such a cute cat. In the same way, we could say very or really. She's really cute. She's very cute. Now, all we're doing, like I said, is adding emphasis. So, if I wanted to. I could change the sentence to say, "She's really cute. She's very cute." Now, if you didn't already recognize the pattern in the sentences, you might once I point it out. So is used with either an adverb or an adjective. So here we've got, "She's so cute. She's so kind. It's so hot." All of these are adjectives at the end of the sentence. The so is strengthening the adjective. It's making it stronger and adding emphasis, suggesting it's very hot, very cute, or very kind. So also goes with adverbs. We could say she's so beautiful, or she sang so beautifully. Remember, adverbs often have those ly's at the end. That's a good indication it's an adverb. Such goes with a noun or a noun phrase. So she's such a cute cat. She's such a beautiful girl. She's such a beautiful singer. Now be careful because yes, there are adjectives there, but look behind the adjective. We have got a noun, so that is the difficulty, really, with so and such. Often you see the adjective in front of the noun, or indeed the adverb, and you get confused. You think, ah, it must be she's so a cute cat. So that's the grammar. Let's see if we can practice using so and such correctly. A quick test to help you and make sure that you stop making these tiny little errors when you speak. So or such. 
I want you to change the sentence to use the alternative word with the same meaning. Are you ready? He's so honest. He's so honest. How can we use such here? He's such an honest man. He's such an honest man. Well done if you got that one. He works so hard. He works so hard. How can we change this? He's such a hard worker. He's such a hard worker. Come on, number three. The dinner was so delicious. The dinner was so delicious. It was such a delicious dinner. It was such a delicious dinner. Again, well done if you got that correct. Okay, let's start with such. I had such a long day. I had such a long day. My day was so long. My day was so long. It's such a great university. It's such a great university. The university is, that's right, so great. The university is so great. Just in case you thought the lesson was over, it's not. Very briefly, I want to explain an exception to this rule. Of course, normally we say that so would not go with a noun. So goes purely with the adjective. If you have a noun, then you would need such, as I've explained before. She's such a cute kitten. In fact, so can go with nouns. They can go with nouns when we are trying to quantify them. In this case, we can use so much, so many, so few, or so little. So much with uncountable nouns. She has so much money. I ate so much food. She added so much sugar. Uncountable nouns, so much. So many, of course, then is going to be with countable nouns. There are so many apples. There are so many people here tonight. There are so many lessons on YouTube about learning English. Then we can have so few with, again, countable nouns. There are so few apples. There are so few people. This is, again, adding some emphasis to really explain that there really are not a lot of something. So little would go with countable nouns, like so few, again, explaining that there really isn't a lot. I have so little money this week. I have so little money to go out. There's so little chocolate left. Chocolate can be countable or uncountable. I think that's going to be another lesson coming very soon. And so, so much, so many, so few and so little are still adding emphasis. They are explaining how much there is of something. So whether it's a lot or very little, it's still adding emphasis, but just with quantities rather than qualities, I suppose. Okay, keep watching to the end to get another glimpse of my very cute kitten with one more example of so and such. Try and use some sentences below with so and such. Make your sentences stronger and make sure you're using those words correctly. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you for my next confusing words lesson. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Hi. She is so hungry. Look at that belly. She's so hungry. Are you such a hungry cat? Oh, she's so hungry. You say it? Hungry? Okay. <laughs>